David E. McClendon Sr. and welcome to uh, McClendon Studios, Random Thoughts and Observations and getting these videos. Uh, today I want to tell you about uh, Papa Bruce, which is Robert B. McClendon Jr., Robert Bruce McClendon Jr. Uh, he was called R.B. in Bones back when he was growing up. And back when he was going to uh, high school, he made the uh, varsity football team, but just barely, at Johnson High School uh, during one of his earlier years. And uh, so they passed out helmets, and there weren't enough helmets to go around in the new helmets. So Papa Bruce asked the coach about using one of the older helmets, and the coach said, sure, fine, if you want to get it, go ahead. And so Papa Bruce got one of the older helmets and cleaned it up, painted it up, got it all polished up, looked pretty. And lo and behold, they were at a football game, and one of the um, higher up in the varsity uh, members broke their new helmet, and the uh, coach said, okay, McClendon, give your helmet to this guy here. And so the helmet that Papa Bruce had lovingly restored was now on somebody else's head. That didn't deter him. He got a, uh, another helmet, and uh, he polished it up, got it all painted up, and he got to keep that one. A couple of years later, he was at a football game, and he was one of the starters, and he was pretty tough. Anyway, uh, I don't know what position he played, but uh, his brother played too, and... Uh, his brother kept getting harassed by two football players from the opposing team that just were making uh, every effort to create a problem for Carl. They'd come, they'd uh, make a little extra hit, a little harder hit than they needed to. And uh, so Carl was just getting pummeled by these uh, people. He was smaller than these other two guys, and they were double teaming. And Papa Bruce said, <clears throat> put me in, coach. And the coach says, yeah, okay. And so put me in, coach. And so Papa Bruce went in. Well, the uh, very first down after uh, Papa Bruce went in, uh, the whistle had been blown. They continued to go after one of the guys that had been harassing Carl. Got the guy down on the ground. And back then, football cleats had metal spikes that were pretty long. And Papa Bruce stomped all over the guy with his metal cleats. And uh, so bad that they had to haul the guy off in the ambulance. And they got him off the field in the ambulance and they had the second play. Papa Bruce went after the uh, second guy. And he did the same thing. They had to bring the ambulance back to the uh, stadium to get this guy. And Papa Bruce just tore him up with the cleats. Now, my father told me that um, years ago that, uh, you know, he's like, you know, you don't mess with my family. You know, you mess with my brother. That's the same thing as messing with me. And that's the way that he always was. You know, you mess with uh, someone else in my family. You're messing with me. He took care of his uh, brother, at least that's what he's trying to do. And when he told me this, he was telling it in front of uh, my Uncle Carl. So Carl, if it hadn't really happened, Carl could have uh, uh, corrected the situation and told us that it didn't happen. Well, thank you very much. These were two very short stories. Um, that's why I bundled them together. Uh, we'll see you again next time. And thank you for watching. And uh, we'll see you again. This is a Federal Trade Commission required notice. When you click on an advertisement that is displayed with this video, or just before it, we receive a small commission. Sometimes, if you merely watch an ad, we receive commission. If you purchase anything by clicking on links on any of our websites, we receive a commission as well. McClendon Studios is a participant in the Amazon Services LLC Associates Program an affiliate advertising program designed to provide a means for sites to earn advertising fees by advertising and linking to Amazon. We have a new book. Many people want to know if homeschooling will work for them. This book may help you answer that question. You can find it on Amazon.com. Suzanne has written a great book of poetry. It is called Shattered. You can find it on Amazon.com. We also offer you the book, How to Pay Off Your Debt. Buy it on Amazon.com. Remember, on the 26th of June, 2016, all of our books will be free on Amazon.com in honor of the 21st birthday of our baby child.